Hi, I'm Chef Joe Zadori from Chalk Point Kitchen in Soho. We're at the Union Square Green Market. We're going to get some veggies. We're going to go back to the kitchen and we're going to do a how-to series on how to cook these great vegetables. Let's get started making the parsnip. First, we're going to take the uh, raw parsnips from the Green Market, add them to a hotel pan and create our court bouillon. Some various spices. You can look up any type of court bouillon spice, our wine, vinegar and water mixture. We're poaching these. We're not braising them, so we want to completely submerge them. Wrap it in tin foil and into the oven. Okay, once they're finished poaching, basically you're going to lay them on a sheet tray and you're going to weight them. I suggest something heavy like a brick. So once again, back in the oven, same temperature at about 350 degrees for about another hour. After those two cooking processes are complete, this is your final product. Okay, you see how it's nice and tender from the poaching. We have some nice color from the roasting and all those natural sweet uh, flavors that have come out of the parsnip. Some people always say it tastes just like sugar. Um, some will say it's too sweet, uh, but that's what we like about root vegetables, that, that natural sweetness. Okay, so the third and final cooking process is this. Take a little bit of olive oil and place the parsnips in the cast iron pan. So now we've roasted our parsnip in the cast iron pan. It's time to plate. Here we just kind of make a simple lemon emulsion with some preserved lemons. You can make one at home however you feel fit. And we're going to add green apple, pickled mustard seed, cauliflower florets, and some chives. Give all that a little mix and create this kind of chunky, well-garnished sauce. First, we're going to cover the parsnip with the sauce and then kind of scatter it around the plate. Once that process is done, we're going to garnish. So we have a little bit of amaranth, some red sorrel, and then I like to use a little shiso for kind of like that lemony minty pop to go with the lemon butter sauce. Always a drizzle of olive oil, and we're all done. Enjoy.